Hello YouTube, this is Alexander Hard again. Today is a kind of discovering day because I want to talk about light encounter again and uh, you have um, in the uh, whole video I talk about this light encounter and um, I try to make you discovering how the, uh, the um, it was made inside for to explain how it was possible to count um, uh, impact uh, of lightning. So after dismounting this device, we can see there is a, a lot a kind of clamp meter and it was very interesting to try to understand and to discover how the PCB was made with a very simple and classical discrete component. And uh, um, this, uh, this demand was about um, a YouTuber who was, uh, who was uh, interested by the process of counting. And uh, so um, I, I make a sort uh, of uh, reverse schematic about this uh, PCB. And uh, so w uh, like I was explaining in my last video, you have here a kind of clump meter and uh, you have here now the schematic. As you can see, you have here um, two toroidal transformer, one for the counting process and the other is for to analyze the, the lighting counter in the laboratory, I, th I think. And you have just here, uh, you have 150 uh, churns on a toroidal which are uh, short circuit by um, classical fast switch, fast uh, switching diode here, as you can see. And uh, here you have only one turn, I guess. This is a, a low voltage return uh, feedback for a scope or on a, other stuff like this. I think, I really think this is um, a device for uh, analyzing the process. And um, so, this is the connecting the connector here you, you can see this is the this connector here okay so as you can see you have this uh, square toroidal transformer which have approximately 200 turns you have here a varistor and uh, this varistor is a lit limitation of voltage and you have a rectifier rectifier and uh, how to try to explain, uh, how to try to understand this uh, schematic. In fact, this is, there is two 8 voltage uh, uh, bipolar transistor, which are in amplifier configuration. They, um, uh, they are here for to amplify the signal on these uh, two uh, Zeno diodes. And what happened when there is a lighting uh, beating the 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 rods here you have a very tight uh, surge of current here uh, um, what you need to know is then um, this uh, clamp meter is in, uh, in fact is actually um, uh, as we can say as we can call it in French a uh, transformateur de courant or in English uh, intensity transformer theoretically Theoretically, uh, uh, it have an infinite voltage uh, at uh, the output because um, this uh, stuff are made to to transform the current of one wire. It's uh, um, theoretically when the loop is open, you will have um, infinite voltage at the in, at the output. This is the reason why we tell we tell you in the industry manufacturer and uh, other stuff we you know you you must not to to let the loop open here because it can destroy this toroidal transformer in our case this of course uh, the, there is no um, uh, amp meter like le, 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 like you can see here but there is a simple rectifier diode, fast 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 switching diodes rectifier where here you have a very store for limit uh, to li uh, limit some uh, uh, over a drop of voltage um, on the circuit 
In the first time, when you have a, a height peak of uh, uh, voltage here, you will charge your capacitor. As you can see, this capacitor is very high voltage and very low uh, capacitance. So what it does, it's, uh, it um, charge instantaneously um, the capacitor here. And when the voltage uh, reach a certain point, as you can see here on this on this, this uh, drum, you ha you will have this uh, amplifier of uh, voltage uh, of current uh, detecting when <coughs> when the voltage is over than forty and twelve volts. This voltage is about uh, fifty two volts. Okay, when the uh, capacitor um, is uh, reach this voltage, this amplifier switch on and uh, send the positive positive signal on the gate of the transistor, which which um, be conductive instantaneous, instantaneously. Okay, <laughs> sorry, and all the um, the uh, all the energy and the power uh, stored on the capacitor go to the counter. What happened, in fact, because when um, if we uh, if we uh, do this kind of con uh, conversion of energy, it's because uh, we need a height pulse of uh, of, cur of of voltage to maintain a little current and um, stable current because this um, this counter is uh, is a coil equivalent. So coil equivalent need um, short current, of course, but it needs a stable current because uh, um, coil and high uh, very tight peak of currents are not friends, as you can see. So uh, actually, it's work like this. When you have your charging capacitor, the um, current begin at this point. It's begin to go through this. Uh, through this counter um, because this transistor and this uh, avalanche avalanche zener diodes so in, actually you can uh, you can consider that this is a very simple very simple schematic about this uh, uh, lighting counter and uh, if you see here you have your toroidal transformer here your intensity transformer which, which you have your rod and your transformer you have the symbol of the color rectifier in reality you need a rectifier with four diodes because uh, in, fa in, in case you have the pulse in other in the other, other sense it can be a defected product so this is just for us to explain so here you have your 52 volts zana diode and when the the oh I forget a capacitor, sorry. You need a capacitor here. You need a capacitor, sorry. Um, okay, now you have a capacitor. Your capacitor is charging through these through this, uh, diodes here and when the voltage exceed, exceed uh, 52 volts, it's uh, switch on the cherry star uh, which send out the power on the counter. Um, as you can see here, uh, you have your peak of voltage here uh, on the uh, in entry of the uh, bridge rectifier. The, this is a very high peak and very short peak of uh, voltage. And if you if you try to uh, to put your your counter counter directly to this rectifier, the counter cannot work because uh, it have a coil and a coil uh, watch a little tight peaks of current um, like it doesn't exist because it needs a time to uh, go through a, a coil because this is uh, the law of electronic as you can uh, as you know. So if you want to represent your uh, current through the, the coil of your counter, it will be a current like this. And you can see the current begin to rise uh, after the peak 
uh, begin to disappear. So for to to give a solution, you need to charge the capacitor, and when the capacitor is enough charged, you will uh, you will have here a switch and uh, a threshold system to send all the power of of the capacitor on the on the on the counter because uh, in fact this is what happened uh, when the device is working this is here what happened you have your very high peak of voltage uh, don't forget this capacitor is 250 volts so this is not for nothing because uh, this is a toroidal transformer with an infinite theoretical infinite uh, output voltage here uh, limited of, of course by a very store and uh, this capacitor is a height capacity voltage uh, uh, ability to um, for to drive slowly and give a uh, stable current during a very short time but enough to to feed this counter so this is this diagram is uh, how to explain in reality you have your very high peak of volt this is the volt of, uh, of of the coil here not the volt of the lightning you have here your very high uh, voltage peak and when you are when you are if you measure the the, the current uh, through the, the the counter you will have a very low current with a low voltage uh, like this one, it's begin to rise when the height peak completely disappear on the coil because it, it's uh, it's so stored on the capacitor here. In reality, if we draw the the voltage, the the current or the voltage in the capacitor, you will find it. You will find it like here, like this one. This is how the capacitor uh, distributes the he, its power and its voltage uh, on the the circuit here, and of course, don't forget the the threshold here work only when the point here um, reach fifty two volts. So uh, this is how I try to explain how to. Um, to transform a very tight, very tight peaks, very tight peaks and unusable peaks with a little, little line, but this line is understandable and uh, acceptable to the counter to work. So uh, I hope you, I hope you like this video, and uh, as you can see. This is a, a very simple PCB with a discrete component uh, for to to explain how this uh, counter uh, make his job and uh, that's all for today. Uh, okay, I hope you're okay with my explanation. I hope it's not too much um, hard to explain. I think it's not too hard to explain. So because you have this very simple schematic for to to make you understand. Um, so don't forget uh, you have a very high uh, voltage here, like not so high but very high uh, voltage here, uh, because this clamp meter is in fact a TE trans uh, intensity transformer, which are uh, usually used. On the um, on the on the box uh, on industrial box to count uh, amps um, in on, on lots of wire and uh, three three phase phase etc. So this is uh, all for today. I hope you love uh, this video. I and tell you see you soon.